Before we get into this video, I want to remind you we're on a road to 133,000 subscribers as I'm chasing my dream to be a full-time YouTuber. You know, I'm approaching 40, so it's, it's really neat in this social media space to see if someone who didn't really grow up with social media can make it on the platform. I guess we'll find out over time. I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. Also, we have a giveaway going on right now for a highly in shield replica, two collector's editions of Tears of the Kingdom, and two Nintendo Switch OLEDs Zelda editions. And you can enter the windows right now with five winners. You can enter down in the pinned comment or in the description. All right, guys, we got to talk about what Nintendo's doing here because this is unlike anything I've ever seen from the company. And I've been covering Nintendo. Now, Zelda in particular is the thing I've been covering since like the 90s, 1998 in particular. But I've been covering Nintendo the last six years. So I can at least talk about the entirety of the Nintendo Switch era. And what's interesting to me is I've never seen Nintendo do this. And I'm not sure what this means other than adding to the pool of speculation over Nintendo's summer plans. Obviously, all of us are waiting for the next big Nintendo Direct, which we presume will happen before Gamescom in August. So it doesn't mean we're going to get a Direct this month. It could be next month. It could also technically be in the first half of August. So there is some time before Gamescom to get a Direct out where Nintendo plans to have demos. They also plan to have demos at Nintendo Live 2023 and PAX West. So let's focus on what Nintendo did last night that is so confusing that I don't even know how to describe this other than Nintendo's sending out a first party game to die because they probably think this game is dead on arrival in the first place. Last night, Nintendo, I'm sure you've heard at this point, announced everybody's 1-2 Switch is coming to Nintendo Switch on June 30th and that you can pre-order it now. They are going to sell a physical version. They are going to have a digital copy. It's going to sell for $29.99 here in the United States. So $30, bucks, which is half of what a typical game costs. It's a sequel to 1-2 Switch, which was originally a $50 game at launch. So pretty close to Nintendo standard pricing. And look, 1-2 Switch didn't slap like super hard, but it sold a few million copies. And honestly, there were some people that legitimately enjoyed it. People didn't describe the games as boring. It just felt a little gimmicky at times and required so many people to really play it. It is a party game, but not like a one to four place person party game. I mean, this is a party game that could have like a hundred people playing. In fact, I had a lot of fun with one, two switch back in the day because I was an after school teacher. So if we got free time, I would gather our 25, 30 students together and we would play some one, two switch because it was a game that all of us could play. So 1-2 Switch wasn't a horrendous game, maybe a little overpriced, but I really enjoyed it. But here's the thing. Nobody was asking for a sequel, of course, and if you're going to get a sequel, you'd figure it would at least be on the same quality of the prior game. But with Nintendo launching this at $30, they're already telling you that this is a $20 worse game than the last one. Now, everybody 1-2 Switch was reported by Imran Khan a year ago to perform so bad in testing where they get a group of people together to just see if people want to play this game. And in testing, they had parents and kids, families. They had families test this game. And it was reportedly, according to Imran Khan, so boring, they didn't even want to finish the mini game round. Like you get into one mini game and the kids and the parents were bored. They didn't want to get through one round of a single mini game. That's how bad this game tested. Now, I've heard it on good authority. The game's been done for two years. And here's the thing. It's not just that we've heard reports, right? Reports can be wrong. It's how Nintendo announced it that you know this is a disaster for them. Everybody, 1-2 Switch is coming out on the end of this month. It is Nintendo's first party release for this month. If there's any other games, they haven't announced them yet. But they announced this without a single screenshot of the actual game. They also announced it without actually showing us a trailer, not even a commercial of the game. Now, I've heard a commercial has been shot, and so there will be some sort of marketing later this month we are going to eventually i guess see the game before the end of the month i don't know but yeah nintendo threw this out to die they've never announced a game releasing within the same month like this if they have announced the game by just giving us a logo metroid prime 4 was announced back in 2017 and all they gave us was a logo but here's the thing they weren't promising metroid prime 4 was coming soon they were promising metroid prime 4 was 
in development. Everybody, one, two, switch comes out this month. It's here in less than a month. Everybody's one, two, switch comes out in less than a month. And they didn't even show us screenshots, trailers, gameplays, or commercials when they announced this. And you know that Nintendo wanted to bury it because one hour, just one hour after that tweet went live, they put out another tweet saying, kick off your summer in style with this new line of pastel Joy-Con controllers available on June 30th. Which color is your favorite? So they are going to get people excited for June 30th by releasing pastel Joy-Cons. And if you want to know that Nintendo was burying, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Everybody's 1-2 Switch has 12,200 likes on Twitter. 5,000, almost 6,000 retweets. <laughs> the damn new Joy-Cons, 67,700 likes and 17,000 retweets. Nintendo knew the everybody 1-2 Switch announcement was not going to hit well, so they needed something else. They needed to quickly bury the announcement with something people would be more excited for and pastel colors that, to me, look a bit Easter-y were probably the right choice. They didn't have to be pastel. Could have been any other new colors of Switch Joy-Cons. Icon, but by announcing something that people might actually care about, they clearly knew that this announcement was not going to be exciting. Add on that they didn't even announce this on every social media platform they have, by the way. That's right. Nintendo isn't announcing this everywhere. There is yet to be an announcement on YouTube about it. Guys, this is insane to me what Nintendo is doing. Now, some people have pointed out that because they announced this, this means that there can't be a Nintendo Direct this month. And look, uh, we have no idea if there's going to be a Direct this month. There's certainly no rumors stating that we're going to get a Direct this month. And I just got done telling you earlier, a Nintendo Direct could be in June, July, or even, you know, halfway to the midpoint of August. So there's still plenty of time this summer for Nintendo to get out a Direct to let us know what the heck is coming after Pikmin 4. But here's the thing about this announcement and why I don't think this announcement really matters in terms of a Direct. And I had some people on Twitter try telling me, hey, when has Nintendo ever announced a first party game like this on Twitter and then had a Direct in the same month? Nintendo tends to announce most of their casual games this way. Nintendo Labo was announced in this way. Uh, 51 Worldwide Games was announced in this way. They tend to announce their games like this in this sort of way. The, the games they don't think are going to necessarily perform very well, but are out there in different ideas. Now, granted, when they announced Labo, they gave us a full multi-part trailer. So they even announced that when we got 51 Worldwide Games, they gave us a full trailer. When we get to these casual experiences, Nintendo confidently announces and explains what they are. And they didn't do that with this because Nintendo's clearly not that confident. To me, this is a thing that Nintendo finished development on this game years ago. It didn't test well. They weren't going to release it. Then they decided, you know what? We don't really have anything this month. So why don't we just toss it out there? there and call it a day and if it sells even one copy then we made 30 bucks back when we would have made nothing back. I'm sure they're hoping it sells, you know, 100,000 copies, 200,000 copies so they can recoup some of that development cost. But in the end, Nintendo knows exactly what this game is and they're treating it as such. They basically didn't announce anything the way Nintendo is treating it. In fact, obviously we get to today and usually after a hype new announcement, the following day would have a bunch of hype tweets about that announcement. Instead, Nintendo immediately posts a trailer of Katamari Rerule plus Royal Red Reverie, which recently came out on Nintendo Switch, and then they talk about another trailer for Super Mega Baseball 4. Nintendo is showing trailers for other companies' games, but not their own. Come on now. Nintendo knows what they're doing here. They know exactly what this game is. It's probably the worst first party game ever created for Switch. And they're just trying to recoup some of those costs. And you know what? Enough people might buy it out of curiosity or just to laugh at it for that to be justifiable. Nintendo just wants to get something out of a game they developed rather than just leave it to die. So take that for what you will. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong and the game ends up being utterly fantastic. As I said, I actually unironically enjoyed 1-2 Switch. Maybe I enjoy this game. I have a family after all, or maybe it's just not that good. I guess we'll find out. Reviews will certainly happen. Gosh knows I'll request a review copy of this game. I don't know if Nintendo's even going to hand out review copies for this game, to be clear. Maybe they will, hoping that anyone, someone will say something positive about it, knowing the negativity train's coming for it anyways after the game launches. That being said, what we have to obviously go into is how Nintendo's going to handle this summer, and I am not really sure 
sure that this this announcement really means anything other than it wouldn't it, imagine how bad this announcement would have been in a standard direct let's say they actually would have showed us gameplay and put this in a normal nintendo direct this probably would have been considered a low point especially if it is the only game from nintendo studios coming out in june so i could see them being like hey we didn't really want this to be a feature game in the direct and now if it appears in some sort of sizzle reel or something like that in a direct hey it's a game already announced so it's not considered a new announcement shocking surprise that being said obviously i want to get your thoughts on what nintendo is doing here you know obviously in wake of tears of the kingdom they probably assume this game would get buried anyways we have pikmin 4 next month that's really the next quote unquote big game it is a big game for many people. It's also not a popular game, but you know what? I'm hyped for Pikmin 4 and I hope you're hyped as well. And then Nintendo, you just gotta show us the goods. I understand maybe you got a new system in the works. Well, you definitely have a new system in the works, but maybe it's coming this year. Maybe it's next year. Maybe it's three years away. I don't know, but we buy your systems for the games. And there has to be something coming after Pikmin 4. I can't live of myself thinking all we're getting is DLC the rest of the month. Or I can't live of myself thinking all we're going to get is DLC the rest of this year. Oh, and by the way, I know Nintendo or Canada sort of teased the Mario Kart 8 booster pack as coming soon. And for Nintendo, coming soon could be months away. So it doesn't really mean that much because we always knew we were getting two booster packs before the end of this year, which is within months. But uh, maybe they lessen the blow of this by dropping that mario kart dlc the same week or something so they hey look people just go play our new mario kart tracks don't worry about this other game <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video